Welcome to Vile Villain. Today, we're talking about this last week's, yeah, this week's, this week's Funko Pop exclusive, and also some little gems that I've picked up. Uh, let's start off with this little gem. It is the Bigfoot, rainbow colored. And uh, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of rainbow colors, but he seems to be really popular. I already have plans to trade this for something else. But uh, uh, he's all right. The other Bigfoots, I think, are a lot better looking. Well, there was a huge line for this thing at Funko headquarters up in Everett, and uh, it was around the block. I showed up, like last week I showed up, I showed up with the Skeksis, which is uh, really cool. I like uh, Dark Crystal a lot better, and uh, I would have thought that that would have been popular, but it seems like nobody knows about the Dark Crystal yet, till uh, the end of the month. But this guy, everybody seemed to want this guy. Me, I don't know. I uh, showed up on a whim. I have him slated to be traded for a glow-in-the-dark rat fake, which I'm way more excited about. That's from uh, San Diego Comic-Con. But yeah, he's, uh, he's all right. He's got some good heft to him. I won't miss him. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I can cut that, right? <laughs> now, this is what I'm really excited about. I didn't even know these were going to be released yet. I had uh, seen pictures of them, but I didn't know when they were coming out. And lo and behold, when I came to get this guy, I saw these guys. These are the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance figures for the new show coming out at the end of the month on Netflix. And if you don't know what the Dark Crystal is, you're probably younger than I am. Um, go check out the Dark Crystal before you watch this show. It's really good. It still holds up. I was just watching it the other day. So uh, let's dig into these. I bought four, four of them. They had six of them total. I still plan on getting the other two, but I bought the four, four coolest looking figures. Uh, let's, let's start with this one right here. Anybody who's watched The Dark Crystal before, they know Agra. She's, uh, I don't know, she's old. She's over a thousand years old, they say in the original. So the first character is Agra. Agra was in the first show, the original Dark Crystal. She's over a thousand years old. I don't really know exactly what she is. She's creepy. I'm uh, not going to give away any spoilers because of the uh, the original one. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But she was really cool. Kind of weird. Let's tear open. Oh, of course, there's the, uh, the metal band here, the twist tie. Can't be easy. All right, oh, I didn't expect that. Her uh, cloak comes off. Anyway, so here we have Agra in all her glory. And uh, I'll post some pictures for you guys to see a little closer in this video, because you probably can't see them here. But she is, uh, she looks a lot like Agra. And I'm sure once you see the show, uh, you will be, uh, you will know. Yeah, so anyway, good figure, great sculpt. Uh, oh, the, her midsection moves. Her head maybe moves. It's hard to tell. Arms move up and down. No feet, just a big solid chunk of plastic. I do like this uh, rubbery robe. It's a really soft rubber. So she's awesome. Very happy to get her. Next in order, everybody's favorite. You know what? I'm going to wait for that. To the last for that guy because that's everybody's favorite this person is a uh, person it's a gelfling and uh gelflings of course were in the original one this gelfling was not in the original show however because well i don't really know the time frame i know it has to do with the crystal and the origins of crystal and all that but uh this is rion or ryan i'm not sure uh, how you pronounce it it's a cool little gelfling. They look like little elves. Uh, if you don't know anything about this show, it is all done with puppets by the Jim Henson Company. And uh, just absolutely fantastic. This little guy, ow, pointy, stabby ears. And uh, yeah, very, this one's a lot more articulate. Bendy knees, soft. I don't know if that's a cloak. It kind of looks like a, a bug wing, but it's got to be a cloak because, well, Male gulf, gelflings do not have wings. So obviously this is a boy. But uh, 
Cool, cool, cool. Very, uh, very happy with that with him. He includes a dagger or sword, and I can't tell what that is. It might be a lamp. I'm staring at all these lights here, so it uh, makes it hard. However, whatever it is, it's very, very tiny. My cats will have it lost in no time if I don't lose it myself. So, there's that. We don't want to lose these, so I'll throw those over here. We'll see if this guy stands up. Hey, look at that. All right, here we have Deet, the female Gelflane. She's pretty cool looking. Let's see, this one, and uh, when you see the picture, you'll know exactly what I mean, but she looks like if the Olsen twins combined into one bean, that's kind of what she looks like. And uh, I think all Gelfings kind of look like that, so. Uh, fully articulate, of course, like I was saying, they're not like Marvel Legends or Star Wars figures, but uh, really cool. She does come with wings because she is female. And look at that, I've already lost one. And I'm back. <laughs> so let's see if I can put these on here in these bright lights. I don't even see pegs to put them on. They gotta be under her hair. So I'll just, I'll, I'll cheat and shove them up under her, her hair here. Oh wait, I found the peg. Did I? I can't find the hole. Oh, there's the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of The Office lately. So uh, anyway, I can't see it so well. But there are her wings. She comes with nothing more than the wings. Leave me, be gone. And so she's just going to look like a squash bug. Oh, the other one fell. Okay, on to the best one. And uh, just recently, as I was mentioning previously, I bought a Skeksis Dark Crystal Pop. And this is the figure. I have to open it like an old school loaf of bread here. And uh, garbage, garbage, whatever. Don't need that either. So this guy, yeah. There's nothing cooler than the Skeksis, kind of bird, mummified looking thing. Forearms, he's awesome. Not quite as articulate as the other ones, but hey, he's the Skeksis. He comes, he's about to bleed me. What do we got here? A sword, a sword, a dagger, looks like a batleth. And this, which I saw in the package, I was very excited about. It's like a little skull helmet. Hey, that fits on there very, very well. And it, it stays, look at that. That is cool. I am so excited about these. So uh, other than these four figures, there were two more. And uh, one of them was Hup. And I forget the race of those characters, but they're like these little hobbit looking guys. I mean, they're seriously little. They're smaller than these guys. And the other one is called a Silk Spitter. It's the new bad guy army kind of thing. It's a big spider thing. It's a nice big, big toy. And uh, I'm very excited to get both of those. We shall see how they are. Probably next week, I will have a video for you and I may just have those. Uh, another uh, Funko Pop news, and I missed out on it today. Scooby-Doo, not actually Scooby-Doo, but Scrappy-Doo from the Scooby-Doo show. That came out today. I missed out on it. I gotta say, I hated the character, and I it doesn't hurt my feelings, although everybody's going crazy over it, so. Uh, I wish I could have got it. At least I would have had trading material. So, anyway. I think that's it for this week. Uh, it's a short video. I'm still working on the studio, and uh, this studio is very small. Hence, all these lights is why I am sweating bullets. It is hot, hotter than hell in here. So, uh, until next time.